The Minnesota Fighting Vikings are always in good salary cap shape, thanks to capologist Rob Thuglive Brzezinski. He's the Einstein of the Excel sheets and is good when his work quasi gets recognized. Pro Football Focus, our frenemies, NFL salary cap analysis of all 32 teams over the next three years. Now, the Vikings checked in at number 15, but we'll get into why it's okay. Uh, in fact, uh, actually advantageous to be in the middle of the pack as opposed to the top and definitely not wanting to be on the bottom because all this is is talking about absolute space. So here's a write-up. Vikings at 15. Drafting a dozen players a year will help for this exercise, but the Vikings are clearly operating like a team that knows they need success and fast. A complete revamping of their defense this offseason didn't require them to break the bank with interior defender Dalvin Tomlinson, becoming the priciest addition at $10.5 million per year. Nevertheless, the focus here is on getting back to the NFC Championship game or ideally even further. And like we said, middle of the pack in this exercise is good because if you're in the top 10, if you have one of the best cap situations, it means that you're missing on draft picks. You're not signing your own guys in second contracts. It's no bueno. In fact, all of the top 10 teams do not have a quarterback on a premium contract. So it's just rookies, so meaning that you're drafting high in the draft, or journeyman veterans, which is also no good. And you'll notice that the teams with the most cap space are generally amongst the worst in the NFL the preceding season. If you look at the 2020 cap space, only two of the teams in the top 10 had, had winning records, the Browns and the Dolphins, and only the Browns have made the playoffs. And somehow the Vikings have $14 million in space this year, uh, and then it goes down to $5.6 million, uh, in 2022, but that's with Daniil's fungible deal on the books, and his massive roster bonus then it completely opens up in 2023 boom goes the dynamite 99.8 million in space because look who comes off the books in 2022 kirkua jerome ezekiel cousins and his 45 million dollar cap it and the vikings are built top heavy this time around where you have all the veteran contracts it's either this year or next year they come off the books so the fact the vikings can do all of this with the albatross that is kirk cousins contract on the books is really a testament to rob Brzezinski. And the Vikings stay out of cap hell, both with Brzezinski working the books as well as Spielman constantly getting picks and churning out the bottom of the roster. Because if you have guys to fill in all the cracks and the nooks and crannies and crevices of this roster when they're on rookie deals as opposed to having to pay out and sign veterans, etc., that does save you pennies and that allows you to have guys on top end deals. And also, the Vikings don't carry too much dead cap generally, which is the killer, and it always catches up to you. Just wait for the Saints, but... Yeah, it's good, man. The Vikings ha are good on the books. They're good on the roster. They're good on paper. Now let's do it on the field, man. Let's go do that thing up. But uh, your thoughts, PFF Frank of the Vikings, 15th uh, in cap space uh, and cap shape for the next three years. But it's okay. Tranquilo. Uh, let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once we that work, pull some of the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.